Who do I think I am with these greens lately? Hey weirdos, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing awesome. This is gonna be a confusing video. Buckle up, buttercup. <laughs> I've got my peel off base coat per use. I do have a video coming very, very soon and it's going to be um, a full like start to finish peel base, mani, the whole thing through removal. I'm gonna show you the whole thing start to finish so it is coming, I promise. This is the new diamond dip powder from iGel kind of sort of new it's like their um upgraded version of their dip powders and i grabbed this color i know i know i don't know what's going on with me in the green i uh, i think we're becoming friends maybe a little bit maybe <laughs> um i'm gonna use this green i had a vision for this manny actually one of my subscribers um this sweetheart named ellie her and i were talking on instagram about different nail designs and stuff like that and she was really into or is really into like Japanese type nail art specifically cherry blossoms so you're going to see me encapsulate some stickers because I tried doing this freehand and it, it was not working and of course true to MK form I always try to do these most ambitious manis on my dominant hand <laughs> and never works ever i am using my sparkle and co liquids i'm gonna leave a video up in the cards for you i will leave a few actually i'm gonna leave a video on how i remove my peel base i just uploaded that also on my second impression of a sparkle and co dip liquid so if you want to check those out feel free to check them out at any point you feel like it i guess <laughs> i'm getting right into this i'm going to speed through my application because y'all have seen this a million times you're going to see me do my first dip into this gorgeous green from iGel Beauty. Um, then I'm going to fast, well, not fast forward. I'm going to skip. You're not going to see it. But I'm going to do a second coat and I'm going to cap and clear. And then we're going to get on with the sticker application. I'm sorry, it's not stickers. I totally lied to you. It's water decals. I got them from Amazon. I will leave them in the description box for you guys. Um, but they're water decals. So if you've never seen me do a water decal application, which I know are far and few between, I haven't done one in a very long time, you're going to see me do that today. I'm also using only dip liquids, so you're going to see me do an encapsulation and activate over it. And you could top coat if you wanted to, but I left them matte, as you will see coming up. If you are wondering about the overlay I have on my nails, you know, just as they are, um, I didn't... Well, I did. I filmed it. It's not coming for a little bit because <laughs> I wasn't sure if you guys would want to want to see it at all. Um, but I just did two dips, kind of two and ish dips of iGel Beauty Medium Pink over my natural nail, and I top coated it. You can like, you, I mean, it's optional. You can do whatever you want with your nails. I use peel base, so I like to have something over my natural nail for in between when I'm doing dips because I do film pretty often. And I don't like naked nails. Naked nails are vulnerable and weak and we need to keep them strong. So I did an overlay um, just of the medium pink. It's a French pink. It's very sheer, very light. If you wanted to go the same route and use peel base or, you know, whatever, even if you don't like soaking off and you want to file off your dip powder, having an overlay can really benefit your nails for when you just don't have time to do a mani or, um, if you need extra strength to your nail or for whatever reason, <laughs> whatever you feel like doing. But I really like the way the medium pink looks on my non-filming days. I can walk around outside and my nails still look nice. So that was what I went for. And I did cheat a teeny tiny little bit. I do have little teeny tiny tips on my nails uh, just because I got so frustrated and just cut them all off one day. You guys will never see that though. <laughs> Um, I went up breaking a nail and I put a tip on that I'm like I'm just gonna cut them all off and put tips on all of them and I did film it I did film it all you will see it coming I promise uh, also coming speaking of which from iGel Beauty I do have their gel tip things um, they're so sweet they sent them over to me so I will be filming with those I as I'm doing this voiceover I have a couple of weeks actually like a week I have a week left of classes Oh my god, and then I'm done. Then I'm done. That went fast. Now I can say that. It was going at like snail speed for a while, but that kind of went fast now. Um, so I will be filming 
some longer nail videos. Not longer as in like time wise. I'm sure you knew what I was talking about. My length of my nails will be longer in some um, future videos, like way in the future. I'm talking like May, June-ish type area. So I have some exciting stuff coming up for that. If you are here for long nails, I will have some stuff for you coming up. Seriously, I don't, I love this color. I really do. What is going on with me in this green? I don't know who I think I am right now. If you're looking for the man in my left hand, here's a funny story for you. <laughs> so as I mentioned earlier, I tried doing the nail art freehand, like with acrylic paint and with gel polish and it wasn't working. So I went and I ordered these decals from Amazon, but I was waiting for them to come. So while I was waiting for them to come, unfortunately for me, I have an Amazon distribution center about 20 minutes away from my house. So I get things pretty quickly, but while I was waiting, I did my other hand <laughs> and that will be my next upload. So if you are interested in the colors that you see me wearing on my left hand, come back for my next upload. So these are the decals that I got from Amazon. I can't believe how many were in here. Look at all these sheets and they're all water decals. So many flowers. I think if I'm not mistaken, it was either like six or seven dollars. Eight at most for all these decals. And wait till you see, I have so many thoughts about them. You're gonna hear it all. So basically my inspo for this Manny because I have the green background and the cherry blossom decals. I was thinking Arizona green tea. <laughs> Sometimes I get Manny inspo from the weirdest places and I'm like, this so screams Arizona. <laughs> I don't know why. So here's how I'm gonna apply these things. I did cut them out. You wanna cut them super close to the actual image. Let them sit in water for a few minutes. And I'm gonna show you the whole thing again so you didn't miss anything. I put them on my jelly stamper, slide the backing off, and then I just stamp it right on my nail. And I have nothing else over my nail. I have no like sticky base coat, no gel, no nothing. That's just the activated and filed dip powder. But these applied beautifully, A. And B, I could not, I wasn't sure how it was gonna work with the green background because most decals require like a white background because they're super transparent, but these were different. They had opacity. They look perfect over the green background. I I'm kind of like, I gotta find more from whoever made this kind of decal because I, I might need them all. I, I have nothing bad to say. They went on super easy, super easy to work with, totally opaque. Absolutely love, love, love these decals. And I have found for me, this is the easiest way I have found to apply the water decals. And as you can see, they do, some of them came like in full nail sheets. So you can do a full nail of these things if you wanted to. Okay. So now that I've gotten my decals on at this point, you could activate and top coat, but I wanted matte nails. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dip it. Well, I'm going to apply my base of course, and I'm going to dip into my clear dip powder. So I encapsulate the decal so they won't peel off. I know, brilliant. <laughs> you could just top coat them and they'd be fine. Um, but I wanted, like I said, I wanted them matte and I wanted them to be locked in so they wouldn't go anywhere. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna apply my base, dip into my clear. I'm gonna activate because you do have to activate your base and your dip, right? And I'm gonna give them a quick little once around with my file, just to make sure my edges are good, the shape is still there, and didn't require a lot of filing, obviously, because it's one dip of clear. And then we're gonna be good to go. I'm gonna let you finish watching, and I'll be back with my final thoughts.
I'm gonna go in with my Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil, like I always do. I'm still obsessed with Twilight Woods. Oh, by the way, if you're not a Twilight Woods person, if you're not a musky, perfumey type oil person, you want something a little more zen, I am also, I keep forgetting to mention this and I don't know why, there's a scent that CJ does at Candy Skincare. It's called Relaxation. This is the scent that literally lives next to my bed. I use it every night, if not numerous times a night, before I go to sleep, obviously. I don't like sleepwalk and put on cuticle oil. You know what? That wouldn't even surprise me though. <laughs> but relaxation is so good if that's the kind of jam you're into. I'm gonna just clean off with a little bit of alcohol since my nails are not top coated. I didn't wanna use my swipe because that does have acetone. Just using alcohol to get the oil off my nails. And here is the finished Manny. I'm kind of living. I'm living for this a little bit. Okay, a lot. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you think that it's Arizona iced tea? I think it is. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.